why you need to have basketball routines. I'm Tony. Welcome back to Streetball Strategies. I'm a big dog walking, y'all gonna hold me, hold me. Yeah. Don't want no problems, don't look at my chain, don't shoot at my shot like I'm Kobe. Yeah. Got the assist, assist, assist. Come and put up on my lonely. Look, arms you can, you know what we can. Today we're talking about basketball routines. Pretty much any routine that you're gonna use to get better out here on the basketball court. And even though I already know that you guys know what a routine is let me just be specific so that we are on the same page about what we're talking about when i say a basketball routine what i mean is an organized uh ordered consistent repetitive plan of action to achieve whatever goals that you've designated this is pretty much a plan of how you're going to use and spend your time becoming a better basketball player think about how casual players spend their time you know we all want to get better at basketball because the better we are the more fun it is to play but what casual players do is they think to themselves that they want to get better so they are gonna come out to the park today to get better at basketball they usually come out by themselves right because if casual players come out with another person or multiple people they're not really gonna practice or drill or work out they're gonna play games because playing games is the fun part so they come out here by themselves but then they realize when they get out here by themselves well it's not fun to run drills by yourself so instead of, of running drills that would make them better they decide to just shoot around right so after a half an hour they worked up a little bit of sweat had a little bit of fun which is all good except for the part where you didn't really progress in your game at all during that period of time but serious players right we have a plan of action for reasons specific reasons when we come out to the court having those plans making use of them on a consistent repetitive basis allows us to become better faster especially than casual players why having basketball routines is so important I think it's because of two main reasons one as I touched on was that it's a time efficiency machine it allows you to use your time efficiently it forces you to have a plan of how you're, what you're gonna do how you're gonna do it what or you're gonna do it for whatever amount of time you're going to do it in order to achieve whatever goals you're trying to achieve the better you get at planning those routines the less and less time you're going to waste and the more efficient you're going to be come at using your time the better you can use your time the more efficient you are at it the more work you can put in the more work you put in the faster you can get better not only that but keep in mind like the casual player who's shooting around they're still putting wear and tear on their body even though it's just you know shooting around you're still like jumping up and down and running back and forth on concrete you know parks and courts it's going to put wear and tear on your body even though you're not necessarily doing it at game intensity also something i strictly believe in is that every time you touch the basketball every time you take a step on this court i'm talking about every single touch of the basketball every single step on the court literally you're teaching yourself something and if you're just shooting around if you're wasting time you know just shooting around having a good time working up a sweat all that kind of stuff you're you're putting in work but where is it going like what direction is it, is it heading in what what is your goal when you're doing that in my opinion if you're looking to get as good as you can as quick as you can every dribble every touch of the ball every step out here on the court should have some kind of intention towards whatever your goal is having and setting a routine allows you to have those intentions so that every time you're making contact with the court or the ball you're moving in the direction that you want to be moving in second of all the the second reason why i think having a routine is so important is it something that really sort of hits home for me and something that i use on at least a weekly basis is like when you have that plan in place it forces you to you know, hold yourself accountable and stick to that plan that you have scheduled for that day because there's going to be plenty of days where you roll out of bed and you think to yourself 
I just don't feel like it today. I don't feel like I have it today. I don't have the motivation today to go do what I have scheduled and planned for that day. So then you start bargaining with yourself and you think to yourself like, okay, I don't feel like it right now. Maybe I'll do it later or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, I'll put it off till I feel like doing it. But when you have a routine scheduled, well, you can't do it later because you have it, you know, you have it planned and scheduled now for a very specific reason. You can't do it tomorrow because you got stuff scheduled for a, your, your routine tomorrow. And then, you know, trying to like, okay, I'm gonna move this around here, I'll do this then, and then you're trying to, you know, reschedule your routine on the fly. It's just a pain. So instead of doing that, You'll say, I don't really feel like it, but I definitely don't feel like trying to reschedule my whole routine for today and tomorrow or whenever. So instead I'll just do what I don't really feel like doing today that I have scheduled that's on my routine to do today. I'll just do it anyway. And yeah, sure, maybe you won't do it as intensely or you know, at the greatest effort or ability that you usually would when you feel fine. But the point is at least you get it done. At least you do it. At least it gets completed even if it's not as great as it usually would be, I still have a satisfaction that I wouldn't have had had I just chose to skip it. When you're thinking about how to best develop these routines, I put them in terms of importance, I put them on the same level as any other basketball skill. Like I depend on these routines to help me achieve the goals that I'm trying to achieve. Because of that, they get that level of importance. I consider developing and using these routines as a basketball skill themselves. Because of that, you go through the same kind of process that you would go through with any other basketball skill. So the general sort of idea of you plan out how you're going to do whatever you're trying to achieve, right? You go on the court and implement it, and then it doesn't quite go the way you expect or want and so then you revise how you go about trying to achieve that skill. So when developing a basketball routine, it's the same process that you use in terms of planning, implementing, and then revising and then repeating that over and over again until it becomes exactly what you want it to be. And the two most important things to keep in mind when trying to plan out these routines is are the routines working for what you're trying to achieve? Are they working for you? And then do you actually enjoy going through those routines? So I have a routine for every day of the week. I do something related to basketball that has the intention of trying to make me a better basketball player. And the way I order and schedule those daily basketball activities is in terms of importance, prioritizing what's most important. So for instance, if it's a mobility day, if I'm gonna work on my mobility out here on the court, right? So I'll have activities, drills, stuff I wanna do that is going to, that, you know, this, the most important things that I feel like if I do this thing first, it gives me the most benefit and then working my way down. And then if something comes up where I can't get to the free throws at the end of that workout for that day, I have to cut the workout short. If I don't get to the free throws, it's okay because it's the auxiliary low priority stuff that's at the end. So when I'm scheduling my routines, it's like, okay, what am I trying to achieve? Here's what I'm trying to do. Let's do the highest priority stuff first. The highest priority stuff is the stuff that I feel like I'm gonna get the most benefit out of at the very beginning of that workout so that in case something happens and I have to cut it short, at least I did the most important stuff first. So each day is dedicated to something different. So that way I can't just arbitrarily just skip a day because I don't feel like it because every day is for something that I deem to be important. Because of that, not only does it does the, the routine itself kind of hold me accountable for showing up and participating in it, but the benefit also is that like I am every day, I'm getting better doing stuff that is actually important, going towards actual goals that I have. And then at the end of the week or the month or whatever it may be, I can ask myself, okay, how did that routine work? Did it, did it help me or did it at least make me feel like I'm getting more towards the goals that I'm trying to achieve? 
and did I actually enjoy it so that I can continue to repeat those routines over and over again and continue to get better. Like I said, I really think your basketball routine should have the importance of actually being a basketball skill. It's something that you should work on and develop and try to dial in the very best you can because having those routines not only allows you to use your time wisely but it also holds you accountable you put those two things together you're maximizing your potential for getting at best at whatever basketball skill you're trying to do as quickly as possible so the same kind of importance and detail and effort that you put into whatever actual tangible basketball skill you're working on out here on the court that same kind of effort and importance and, and, and attention to detail should be put into how you plan your basketball routines. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, if you agree that having routines maximizes your time spent out here on the court, if you think it's going to help you to develop a better basketball routine for yourself, then that's great. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, everybody. That's the best thing you can do to support this channel is to hit that subscribe button. Everybody that has, everybody that does, everybody that will know that as small as this channel is, I really do appreciate every subscriber that hits that button. Also make sure to like, comment, hit the share button, share this video. If you find this channel, this content, uh, if you find it helpful, if you're, if, if you're like other people who have come along who've said to me like, I, they're glad this content this kind of content exists because it's not found anywhere else on YouTube or the internet and it's what you're into then great share the channel spread the world get get the word out about this channel as much as you possibly can thank you guys once again and I'll see you guys next week I'm a big dog funky you can not hold me hold me don't want no prize don't look at my channel shoot at my shot like I'm Kobe get the assist sis sis coming for number my lonely you know what we can't come on my stand in this holy